Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. So today I wanted to do a video about how to travel with Sensi. If you are a fragrance addict, you may already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're a fragrance addict and have no idea what I'm talking about, this is the perfect video for you. Um, so recently I went on a work trip and I, of course, I was going to be there for a couple days. So I was like, what warmers am I gonna bring? How am I scenting this hotel space? This is what was going through my mind. So I kept everything I brought with me in a bag because I wanted to share it with you guys because when I first did this a while back, I think like a couple months ago, I was like, is this even allowed? Like, I don't know why that's the first thing that went through my head, but I was like, do people really do this? Yes, they do, and it's allowed, so FYI. <laughs> um, I don't think obviously people want you to be burning candles in their hotel room, which we're not going to be doing, but having a wall fan, having a warmer, like things that are safe shouldn't be an issue. If you're like doing a whole bar of wax throughout your hotel room and it's like bothering your neighbors, maybe then you have an issue, but like I did a cube at a time. So like we're fine. So I wanted to share with you guys what I brought with me and kind of how traveling with Sensi, what options you have. So I think the easiest way is with our wall fan system. So I brought with me a wall fan, which looks like this. Basically what this is, it plugs directly into the wall. You just open it up, it's plastic. It's like super simple. If it falls, it's not gonna break, that type of thing. It's fine in your bag, flying, driving, whatever. We take um, these pods and I brought with me pina colada cha-cha and I'm glad I did because it was really hot. So you take these pods, you can have one or two and you just pop them right into the wall fan and then put it on, put the lid on, whatever, plug it in, push the button to start. It, the fan blows through and then through the fragrance beads and sensor space. So we have these. This was perfect for the bathroom. Um, I love traveling with the wall fans. So this would be like my number one way to travel. And like the easiest way is with our pod system. I'm just gonna show you guys what I brought and then maybe give you some other ideas at the end. But this was like the first thing I brought, wall fan. And this one doesn't light up. It just, this little ring lights up. We have ones that have lights on the bottom too. And then the pods. And then I brought a mini warmer. So I brought this one right here. I do believe this is the Lavender Love Mini Warmer. And it wasn't getting very much love at my house. So I was like, I'm gonna bring it with me on my trip. So it's just a mini warmer. It plugs right into the wall. It has some lights. It's perfect as like a night light. Um, when we are at home, <laughs> There's no light allowed in the bedroom, none at all. Uh, when I am like either at home alone or on a trip by myself or if Corey is not with me while I'm sleeping, I prefer to have something with a little bit of light going just because it makes me feel a little bit safer. I just am a light person, I always have been. I don't like when we have it completely dark, but of course when we're together, it's fine. I feel fine. When I'm alone, I just don't like it to be completely dark. So in the hotel room, I obviously use this as a nightlight. So it's perfect. Put a cube in, it's great. You can probably put a, two cubes in if you really wanted to, but this is very small and compact. I didn't even put it in a box. I literally just brought it like this. However, I was driving, so I had a specific bag where I put everything in. Since this does have a light bulb inside of it, like right here is a light bulb. If you were flying, you might want to put this in a box or something a little bit safer to make sure it doesn't break because it is ceramic. But I just brought it like this, being totally honest. So this was perfect. I had it in the kitchen area. And then because I <laughs> was going alone for a couple days and I knew the room was kind of a little bit bigger, like it had a kitchenette, it had a bathroom like kind of offset. It was a little bit bigger than your typical hotel room. And because of the other things, like me being extra and going a couple days, 
I brought a full size warmer with me. <laughs> yes, like I said, extra. So I totally boxed it up because this I was worried about actually breaking. I didn't just want to throw it in a bag. So this is actually the August warmer of the month. So this warmer is 10% off right now. I love this warmer, you guys. It's such a good performer. It's called Night Sky. I'm going to take it out of the box for you just because I need to reset it up in my home. But I literally had it set up here in my office at home, boxed it up to take with me on my work trip because that's how much I was like, I need to have this warmer. I freaking love it. So I didn't have all the stuff in the box, so I kind of just improvised. I had this lid box from another warmer and just used this little piece of bubble wrap to kind of hold it together a little better. I had no issues with travel. Um, but this is generally what the lid comes in. This is another warmer's lid box, but I used it because I knew I wanted to just bubble wrap this up to make it a little bit safer. So that's the dish. I think I've saying lid, but I meant dish. Um, let's take the styrofoam out. So really the warmer just sit right down right down in here like this. I literally just took the cord and like wrapped it multiple times just so I didn't have to worry about like banding it back together. I put it back in this little plastic, I even took the light bulb out and put it in this little bag. <laughs> but that all, I mean, look how fast we just took that out of the box. It goes back in that easy. Like it's so, so simple. So this is a phenomenal performer and it's a pretty like strong um, and bright warmer. That's why I brought it. If I was going by myself, or if I was going with Corey, or maybe not as many days, I definitely wouldn't have brought this. Um, it's also kind of big, but because I was driving, I didn't really care. <laughs> like, I definitely had to make an extra trip for my warmer bag. Here's the size comparison. So, if that, you know, is obviously you have constraints on your luggage and like your room, you probably don't want to bring this warmer, but I had to bring it and I knew I was driving. I knew I would be there for like three days. So it was fine. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And this warmer is absolutely stunning. So, and it was awesome in the hotel room. Um, before I get into like my other tips, I'll share with you guys the scents I brought as well. So I knew it was gonna be pretty warm there, but I knew I was also kind of in the mood for like transitioning into fall. So here's what I brought. I even have them in plastic bags because I was worried that when they sat in my car all day, uh, before I had actually left for my trip, I had my car packed. I was nervous maybe they would get a little bit sweaty. So I put them in a plastic bag just in case. They didn't get sweaty, but I wasn't taking any chances. Um, I was there for three days. I literally brought three waxes. <laughs> so the first one I brought was the Moana scent. And then I actually used two cubes. This one did get a little bit juicy up there. This was probably the juiciest bar. It's not very much so now, but this is a very like sweet watermelon scent. It's no longer available. <laughs> if you guys added aloe vera and ivy to your club, it's very similar to aloe vera and ivy, but it was absolutely beautiful. So I literally just put one cube in the mini warmer and then one cube in my full size warmer dish. And it was a rock star performer. It did really, really well. Um, but that I knew it was just gonna be warm and I was like, I should use that scent. <laughs> I should bring it. Okay, and then the other two scents I brought, um, bring back my bar, Cutie Pie Cupcake. So this is kind of like an orange cupcake scent. It was so good it kind of it's not fall necessarily because it has that citrus in there but the bakery aspect of it just kind of helped me a little bit clench that need for fall scents um i'm really starting to be like okay i want all the bakery and like give me the apples and the pumpkins and the spices and the caramel so like this wasn't quite that but it was borderline so i think it helped me but it's also like 93. So I think it was a good balance. Once again, used the two cubes. That was a perfect one. And then the last day I did bring back my bar, um, sweet plum pastry, same thing. This one definitely like did not get sweaty. Neither did the cutie pie cupcake. This one is so good. I'm going to be warming this all fall. Like I love it, but I feel like that deep plum is just 
perfect for fall. So those were the three waxes I brought. Um, I don't even think the cleaning people came into my room just because I think with COVID, they're not really coming into people's rooms now. That was my only concern is like, I didn't have it on when I wasn't in the room. My only concern was like, well, they'd be like, what is all this stuff? Um, but I don't even think they came into my room when I wasn't there just because I think they won't clean your room unless you request it. And then just one more thing I brought because I was extra. Oh, first of all, I brought my Eeyore Sensei buddy. That's important. I already have him back in my bed because we're hanging out again. Um, but I brought him with me. We hung out. So I also brought the hand soap and pineapple coconut vanilla. Yes, they obviously provide hand soap at hotels. <laughs> Yes, this is doubling up considering I brought a hand soap to a hotel that already provides hand soap. But I was like, it's tiny, I can fit it in my bag. I don't love the hand soap they provide, especially if it's bar soap. Like washing your hands with bar soap seems so gross to me. Like you touch it with your dirty hands and I don't know, it just freaks me out kind of. And then you put it in that little dish. Like bar soap's fine in the shower, but like, for your hands, it just seems so weird to me. I don't get why. So I brought my own soap. I usually prefer to make these into foaming soaps, but I actually used it just like this. Um, they actually have this little tab on there. So you wanna take this off before you pump it. Goodness sakes, I can't even get it off. It like just comes right off and then it like will pump down. I put this back on here just because it was in my suitcase and I didn't want it to be like pumping all over the place even though I have it locked. But just FYI, if you get a soap from Sensi and it won't depress, they have these little white things on them. So I didn't actually, clearly this isn't a foaming, um, it's in its original container which is a gel soap. And I actually really enjoyed it. I'm eating my words, I know, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was very, very nice. I really liked the scent. I actually think using it in the hotel while I was away like really helped my hands. I usually get this big spot right here from using foaming hand soaps just because my hands get so dry. So I think using this was actually a nice break. I have the Autumn Road Trip and the Cider Mill hand soaps coming to me. I think I might just have to bust those out and use them right away and potentially not even make them into foaming. Who it might be coming, I don't know. So. That's everything I brought, but a couple alternatives for you. So speaking of the wall fan, if you have our Sensi Go system, which completely, um, it's like a chargeable battery. It doesn't have to be plugged in. You just charge it and you go. So you can use it anywhere. It doesn't have to be plugged in. That's obviously a great option because if you're taking like a shorter trip, you could just charge it before you go and take it with you. Um, maybe if you're going, you know, just somewhere like overnight, if you're going for a couple days, it's like a cell phone charger. You just put the charger in your bag, charge it up. You can do it anywhere, like set it on the table in your hotel room, nowhere near an outlet. Like that's a great, great system. I've definitely brought that before. Um, like right when I got my Sensi Go, it was right before we went somewhere on a trip. And so I <laughs> brought that with me as like my only means of fragrance. We only stayed one night. So that's a great option. We have our mini fans. Those have to be plugged into a USB so they're a little bit more limited than the Go. This I really like because it does give that little bit of light and it kind of is a little bit more stronger since you could put two pods in versus the mini fan. You can do one. A mini warmer, obviously a great option. There's so many mini warmer options. You could even bring just a mini warmer base if you don't want to be plugged in. For the full size option, I definitely loved having the full size warmer there. If you were concerned more about like space and maybe brightness, I would suggest something like the Diamond Milk Glass Warmer. While it's only 12 watts, so it's not gonna be as hot as like what I brought, the light is gonna be extremely less and it's not as big. The box is probably half the size of this box, so it's gonna save you a lot of space. Plus there's no light bulb, so not only like the light shining, if that bothers you, you don't risk the light bulb breaking in transit. So just a couple options. I know when I flew to, when we went to South Carolina, I brought with an element warmer and we took it, I mean, we went on the plane and I brought the element warmer. So it just was a little bit more safer to me than bringing something with a light bulb. So there you have it. Um, I think that's all of my suggestions. You can obviously like bring room sprays, bring scent backs in your bags. 
Um, but I really was just more concerned about like fragrancing the actual room and making it feel a little bit more homey, which I definitely think this helped. So those are my suggestions. I don't know how much traveling is going on nowadays, but um, maybe you're traveling for work like I went on a work trip. And this is perfect for that because it kind of helps with just like de-stressing at the end of the day, making it feel a little bit more like home instead of working. It's, you know, it's supposed to feel a little bit, you're already away from home, you're maybe like agitated. I was like nervous as heck because I had no idea where I was going. It was the first like trip I had gone on myself for work for. Um, usually I like would go with other people or if I had gone in the past, it was somewhere familiar where I'd been. So I kind of had like a little bit more anxiety and this really like having the sense that I've already warmed in my own home kind of just made me feel more at home. So I feel like I'm really going on rambling, but I hope this helps you if you're a first time Scentsy traveler and you're like, what do I bring? I hope this helps. This is what I did. This is what I suggest. You obviously don't have to bring all this, but it's a great place to start. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.